Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a really, really quick tutorial. Um, probably two or three minutes last once we get going on how to add your own artificial light source to items like this lantern. Uh, it is really, really quick but effective. There are more complex ways of doing this out there. Uh, but as I say, if you're looking for a quick way to do this, then this is the tutorial for you. Uh, if I could just ask you to like and subscribe, that'd be brilliant. Um, but by the beggings out of the way, we'll we'll get the tutorial off and running. So, what you want to do is you want to create a layer, and then you want to go over to the gradient tool on the left hand side, and then up at the top you've got a few options. I use the radial gradient. And then if you click on this bar here, um, you can change the colors. So the bottom left hand side swatch, and then click color. And if you want to copy this, you're more than welcome to this number here at the bottom left. Um, but if you want to try and use your own and go ahead, that's what Photoshop's all about experimenting. And also the bottom right swatch. So if I click on that one again, you're more than welcome to, to copy this. And then click OK on those. OK, so when you click, drag and release, the further you drag, the larger the, the, the radial gradient will be. Um, you don't need to be too accurate and the reason I say that is because now that I've clicked and dragged if I press command T I can transform and move this around how I want so you don't need to be too accurate drag and release oh it's not big enough or it's too you know you don't need to keep doing that you can just transform it so you get your first one round about where you want it accept and then what I do is I press command J and duplicate that I'll make it you know, a more intense, but I'll slightly change the size of that by, you know, Command T. And you can just play around with it until you get it somewhere near where how you want it. Try it bigger. Oh, no, I prefer it smaller. Okay. Um, and then what I do is I will select both of those layers, put those into a group, Command G. Uh, you can play with the blending mode, so scroll through. Some of them are going to look crazy, but it's always worth stopping and look through because one of them might surprise you and go, oh, actually, that, that looks better. So it is worth having a quick look through. I prefer it how it was, so we'll leave it. Have a play with the opacity and get it to a point where you think you know it looks realistic or it has the look that you're looking for. Okay, um, so once you've done that, I try and sort of play around with, with the lighting on the subject. So I'll probably just do a quick dodge and burn, nothing too major, just make it a little bit more natural how the light would come off the lantern nothing too major but it's worth doing just makes it look more realistic okay and that's about it it's really really simple guys but it does bring your photos to life and you can use this method in other things you can i've even used it to make you know fake sunsets and things a little bit more complex but you can do it anyway guys thanks for that and if you could like and subscribe that would be great and uh, you won't miss out on any future content brilliant thank you bye